Um, so, what's frustrating to you when you go up north? The way they treat you. But in the other, it's, it's like six of the one and a half dozen of the others. Um, I like the adventure. And um, I like traveling. Mm -hmm. There's places I see. <coughs> Yo, that uh, there's plenty of people that didn't see places that I, uh, I have seen and things that happened up like, there. Like, give me some examples. <coughs> well, I've been on Kariba. I've been at the Tanganyika um, Lake. I've been in... Um, I mean, I can imagine, I don't think there's maybe 10 South Africans that ever been to Burundi. Mm -hmm. um, you can drive there and you hear them shooting in the bush, but they've got their own fights. They don't bother us because they know we are bringing supplies. Mm -hmm. So they won't harm us. And um, uh, What's the last time you've been to Burundi? Uh, it was in 2011. Okay. Mm. And... Um, uh, well, I've been on Victoria Lake. I've been at Vic Falls bungee jump there. Uh, oh. mm -hmm. So what is what is ex exciting to buy if you were to lo go look for things to buy up north? The clothes are very cheap. And, um, and is it m locally made or is it just Chinese? No, no, stuff? it comes from India, that side of the east. Yeah. The east yeah. Via Dar es Salaam because those slums, they, those Indian guys, they know how to... Everything in Africa comes from, through the... Um, through, through so, um, other than the locals, since you've been to these places, who, who from the from outside of Africa is doing business in Africa, and what kind of things are they doing? What have you encountered? Transport and mining. South Africans has got big, big, big money up there. Big okay, a lot of South Africans in transport, and you say mining. Yeah. Who I else know, is in mining? I can give you the names of some companies, like the owner of um, GNH. Uh, they are the biggest supplier of dynamite to the mines north of Bite Bridge. They, that is a white guy staying in Lumumbashi in Congo. Mm -hmm. His shop is in, in Kempton Park in, in, in Joburg. And so describe Lumumbashi to me. You've been to the city. Is it it's a, is big. It? It's big. It's like Joburg. It's very big. It's the capital of the south of Congo. The, the north province. side is yeah. King Shasha. Mm -hmm. Um, but the thing is with Lumumbashi, no rules. And the other thing in Congo that I don't like is they drive on the wrong side of the road. They drive oh, they do the, the right, right side, side yeah. Down. yeah. So I made a mistake one day. There's plenty of circles. And you went wrong, so the I, wrong. I went that side. But I was on the right side and then I went on the wrong at a big traffic jam. And then they want to kill you. They want to kill you. So you have to pay and <laughs> bribe the nearest cop. Clear, get me out of here. <laughs> yeah. Then he's walking in front of the truck with a stick. He's mm. just chasing away mm. everybody because mm. he got some money and then he mm. will. So you know how and to make it And what I do with him normally is if, if a guy helps me like a traffic cop, then I take his number. So mm. next time when I enter in Lumumbashi, I'll phone him, he'll wait for me next to the road. Then he sits next to me in the truck, go through town, no problems. Nobody will stop you. There's a cop next to you. It's better to pay him $10 than to pay 10 times $10. Oh, so others will come to you and they want to stop you and then suddenly they see the they other see cop. The scope oh, and then okay, gee. Dang it, I'm not getting you. him today. Yeah, they leave you. Oh, that's So that's the way we work. It's, 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 it's less expensive. So when you buy food up north? I don't buy food there. I only buy cold drink and that's about all cigarettes and air time. I've got a fridge. I fill it up here with meat. Take it up. You can't buy. You don't know if it's cat or dog or snake or. So you've never run out of your own food. Uh uh. Then I've got ten food as well that you can keep for a year. Yeah. No, I just um, when I come here and I've used some, I just fill up the the, the, the case. Mm hmm So it's full again. This is fascinating to yeah. <laughs> to, really to hear about things. So, yeah. if you if you were to be hired by some consul consulting firm and they say um, Kubis you've got good experience in Africa what advice can you give those countries to help to make a start at really improving their economic situation what would be on the, the top start of with the government government down the government is just enriching themselves I see it every day in Africa you've got the stop cats they take all the money and the guys on the street that's why the cops are, are taking bribes is because of that. They don't get paid in Congo. They don't get paid in Congo. They just get an opportunity they to make money. They get an opportunity. 
That's all. Kind of you like get to waiters. Use uniform and that's you, all. Waiters often you say, I'm going to make my money from tips, mm. serving people. Yeah. And that's, that's really what it's, it works there. And there, just everybody kind of has to. One thing I must say is, uh, like in Botswana, the cops get good money. Um, there you won't bribe. If you want to bribe somebody, they'll lock you up. Mm -hmm. So they really have a different yeah. culture. Yeah. What about I mean, in you, Namibia? Uh, one, when last did you hear in uh, uh, Botswana that they kill a rhino? You never hear it because the army actually does the job. Mm. They, are they are deployed in the Kuvangu Delta. Our army in South Africa is sitting, taking a salary every month and doing nothing. Me and Drinking. him were talking about that yesterday. I mean, use the guys Who are in, in a right way. In Botswana, for example, you will go on the main highway. They, they, they don't have N1, N2, what, what. Uh, 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 Paris. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, all right. Um, They've got guys with donkey carts that's contracted to the government. They deliver, every 10 miles, they deliver a, a load of coal. For the guys living in the bush, they don't use the trees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't mm -hmm. that interesting? Yeah. yeah. And the other thing is in, 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 in Botswana. Okay, sure. Botswana. In Botswana, they have got the bus service on the highways are for free. They've got this white stones. It's like a brick size. Then the government goes and they put one here and one there. And then they will get a guy from the village and tell him, listen with a panga. You clean this piece next to the highway. If you are finished, you get your 50 pulas. So they don't use tractors and what They are creating jobs, actually. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't reach that white stone, then he doesn't, if he reaches it, then he can, then that guy will come around with his donkey car. He's the paymaster. Every day he will come, okay, you've done this block, there's your 50 pulas or your 20 pulas or whatever mm -hmm. they give them. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> they've got listed diesel pumps all over <clears throat> with, there's another guy contracted to the government with diesel, with his donkey car. An interesting thing I saw in Botswana, for example, is like when we are upgrading a road, we take out the old tar, we build a new road. There they didn't do it. They build a new road next to the old one. So the old road is a donkey cart road. It's a tar road, it's full of brushes and what, but for a donkey car it's fine. Mm. So that cart is not in the road. In the road. Mm. On the yes. highway, it's next to the road. Yeah, for safety. that's fascinating. That, that, is, that is one thing I picked up there, that their government was actually wake up. They really consider mm. the real situation. What other tips would you give to the countries up north? Uh, take enough food and water. There's no water. From Bait Bridge up, no water. You can buy water, but in certain places, like in Lusaka, there's a pick and pay. You can buy uh, bottled water. But from there in Chingola, there's a shop right. But take water, plenty water up there. And um, be wake up. There's plenty crooks out there, especially at the borders. They will exchange money with you, and they are like magicians. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you got, but you, but you yeah, didn't. Yeah, yeah, you, right. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, okay, I've been doing it now for five years. I've never encountered any um, uh, 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 false money, mm. nothing. But the thing is, they exchange it so quickly. Yeah, yeah. You'll end up with less than you gave them. Yeah, yeah. They, are, they are specialized in that. So how do you avoid getting money at the border? Or where do you go? You work it out... Um, what we do, I don't take, I only take rands and US dollars I get from the bank, then I get small US dollars. But they like watch us and uh, pull us and the Namibian and... and, and uh, um, so where do you go to get your kwacha and your pull At the borders, on the street. They've oh, got the a better street. rate than at the border mm. itself. They've got a better rate because but they the crooks, don't have to the pay rent for both, a in both places or the, a more secure place for you? No, you can just do it on the street. Then. Yeah. And you Normally what I do is, um, at the no man's land, every border has got a no man's land between two countries. You get the guy at the gate, it's normally a group for security, they are big in South Africa, they are big in Africa. You get one of them, you buy him a cold drink and he's just standing next to you. So if they want to try something, mm. he, will, he will lock them up or whatever, he knows what to do. But that's what I do. And I mean for a cold drink, it's better than pay 
five rand for a can of Coke than to lose two hundred dollars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you understand how yeah. the game works and what to pay to yeah. make it work. But you, the the point I get is nothing is for free. Nothing in Africa, nothing is for free. And that's actually a very important lesson. If they see you smoke in the Congo, they will charge you carbon tax. <laughs> they, I mean, but they burn down forests to make coal, charcoal. Mm. But they will do anything for to make money. Mm. And so, a cigarette, hey, hey, that carbon connects. tax. Carbon tax. Someone gave them that new word, and that's yeah. a new excuse. Yeah. Everything is. There's nothing for free. Nothing. And don't use a toilet in the Congo. You'll pay. You'll pay. As you say, make an alternative plan. Use a bottle or a plastic bag. Yeah, do something. Yeah, make a plan. Don't, don't, don't use a toilet there. You'll pay. Not carbon tax. I don't know what they call it. But <laughs> <you. laughs> and um, so, um, what do you like? You mentioned earlier you, you like Tanzania. That's a fun place. Hundred percent the roads and the people, very friendly. They have actually. Um, in Tanzania, I don't know who taught them that. I've not been that long in the world, but human relations there is 100%. Mm. They've got better manners than South African people I know. They will always, they see you not as a, um, uh, in Congo you are intruder. In Zambia you are intruder if you go with your truck there to deliver their stuff in their pig and pay. But in Zambia they see it as a tourist. Zambia, you say? Ach, uh, not Zambia, Tanzania. 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 Okay. They will see you as a tourist. So, um, no, Tanzania. I'll go. I'll move there if I've got a nice job there. Yeah. I'll go and stay there. Botswana is nice, but the thing is, Tanzania is my, for me even even better. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned about when you if you need to, you've had malaria three times. Mm. And what's your advice about malaria? If you get malaria in South Africa. Fly yourself up to Zambia, they'll fix you quick, quick. Because of the experience, yeah. with it, they know exactly they what to do, do. They deal with it every day. Yeah, the guys don't know about it. They just think they do. Yeah, they think <laughs> that.